If you're trying to get pregnant, the use of this medication known as Clomid could be an option for you. This medication is widely used in the treatment of infertility and is known as one of the most commonly used medications in the treatment of infertility. Well, the use of this medication is common in two situations. One is in women who do not ovulate or ovulating irregularly. Secondly, it can also be used in women who ovulate. For women who do not ovulate at all or ovulate irregularly, how this medication works is that it stimulates the pituitary gland to release more of the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, which in turn makes the ovaries to work harder in order to induce ovulation. Simply put, this medication simply helps a woman to ovulate and by so doing, through ovulation, the woman is able to get pregnant. In the second situation whereby the woman actually ovulates, what this helps to do is to simply increase the woman's success rate of achieving pregnancy. So having come to know this, it's also important to note that when it comes to the use of clomid, the protocol for use varies from doctor to doctor, from hospital to hospital, and also most importantly on the woman's specific circumstances. This is why it's very important that before you begin to use this medication, you must seek the help of the qualified healthcare professional who will assess your situation holistically and provide the most appropriate method of treatment for you in terms of the dosage and when and how this medication should be taken. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to take this medication, what things you must do before you begin to take this medication, what you should do after you've taken it, and also I will be telling you the side effects of this medication. If this is something you really enjoy, consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up as you watch, and also do not forget to come back because there is so much more coming your way. In this channel, we talk about fertility, women's health, and everything health. If you see me for the first time, my name is Peace Choise, a registered nurse and midwife, and I currently practice with NHS in England. So let's get started. What must you do before you begin to take Clomid? Before you begin to take this medication, first, it must be prescribed by a qualified healthcare professional after assessing your specific circumstances. Now, before your doctor begins to give you this medication, Usually, they will ask you to do some ultrasound scan in order to assess your follicles. Here, they are looking out to see how your follicles are to be sure they are not abnormally large. It should be within the required size before they can give you this medication. The next is you could do other investigations like a blood test. This blood test is done in order to check the levels of your estrogen and the levels of estrogen is expected to be low for you to begin to take this medication. So after the results of your investigations has been seen to be okay, then your doctor can give you the go ahead to begin taking this medication. Next, when should you start taking Clomid? It is expected that you start taking Clomid on the second day of your period. As soon as your period begins on the second day, you should start taking this medication based on the prescription given to you by your doctor that is the right time to begin and usually you are expected to take it for at least five days but for women who are not ovulating or for some other reasons best known to your physician they might decide to increase the dosage usually it is expected that you do not exceed a hundred milligram dosage for each day but for women who do not ovulate they might decide to increase the dosage or even increase the duration of taking it. It could be between 7 to 10 days in this situation. So finally, what should you do when you finish taking the medication? So as soon as the medication is completed, it is now time for you to begin to monitor for ovulation. And in order to do this, it could be done in two ways. One, it could be done at home by using an ovulation predictor kit like this. In order to use these kits, it is expected that you use your urine every morning to test for ovulation. By getting a positive test, it simply means that you are due to ovulate within the next 12 to 24 hours. And this is the best time to plan intercourse in order to achieve pregnancy. Next, it could be done in a doctor's office, whereby you book an appointment to have some blood tests taken 
to check for the levels of estrogen. In this case, it is expected to be high. It could also be done by using an ultrasound monitoring. In this situation, you have an ultrasound done in order to monitor your follicles. So these can help us to find out that you are really ovulating and then you plan intercourse around this time. Having done all of this, it is now time to expect a result. That is to get a positive pregnancy result. If everything works out fine, fine and good. But if not, it is now time for the doctor to decide whether to try another cycle or not. But remember that before you try another cycle, you have to go through all of this process that I've just mentioned in order to be sure that you are safe to continue taking this medication and also to ensure that you get the best result from it. Having told you all about this medication, it is important that I let you know of the side effects. So let's talk about the side effects. Clomid, just like every other medication, comes with its own side effects. The side effects include headache, hot flushes, abdominal pain, and even severe abdominal pain, of which must be reported to your healthcare professional. Other side effects include the probability of having multiple pregnancy, of which so many women see as a good side effect. Others include breast discomfort, nausea, or pelvic bloating. Dizziness and mild depression has also been reported by many women. However, serious side effects like visual disturbances must be immediately reported to your healthcare provider as they might decide to stop this medication or reduce the dosage. Finally, a serious side effect known as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome could occur in women who take Clomid. This situation occurs because the ovaries swell and become very painful. In this situation, the woman has symptoms such as excessive or severe abdominal pain, weight gain, tightened or enlarged abdomen. In serious circumstances, there could even be shortness of breath and decrease in urination. So all of these, along with persistent nausea and vomiting, could be experienced when a woman experiences ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. So that is why it is important that you must be under the care of a qualified healthcare professional before you begin to take Clomid. So that is all I've got to talk about Clomid. In my next video, I might go in depth in telling you more about Clomid and its side effects. If you have any questions regarding the use of Clomid, kindly leave them for me in the comment section and I'll do my very best to give you my answers. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel because here we talk about fertility, women's health, and everything else. I also want to use this medium to wish you the very best in your journey of trying to conceive. See you again in my next video. Bye for now.